Hello and welcome to another video by Perfect Scores. This is Preetender Kaur and this video is based on a topic of genetics, a specific topic which is formation of, of the chiasma during crossing over. So it's a really small topic. So let's discuss that. Now I think you might know that crossing over is part of a process known as meiosis, which is reductional cell division. So it basically involves the exchange of DNA segments. And it's not just DNA segments, it's actually part of the chromosome that gets exchanged. So we can say it is exchange of DNA or chromosome segments and it occurs between homologous chromosomes. And the stage during which crossing over occurs is prophase 1. So that is prophase 1 of meiosis. That is when crossing over occurs. Now let's go ahead and see what are the different steps involved in crossing over. Step number one is the homologous chromosomes become connected. So let me just call them HC, homologous chromosomes. They become connected and they become connected in a process known as synapsis. And this gives rise to a bivalent or a tetrad. So let me draw a little diagram for that. So this is exactly what happens during crossing over. So these are the homologous chromosomes. This is a pair of homologous chromosomes. And this is when the crossing over is actually happening. So they become connected and that is known as synapsis. And this gives rise to a bivalent. That means it is having two chromosomes or tetrad. The next step that happens is that the non-sister chromatids, they break. So to make it more clear, I have taken one chromosome as completely blank and the other one is colored. So you can see the non-sister chromatids, they break and recombine with their homologous partner. So that is going to be the second step. So the non-sister chromatids, they break and recombine with their homologous partner and in this process, they exchange the genetic information and this is the step, the second one, that is actually known as the crossing over. Now the non-sister chromatids, they remain connected on this X-shaped structure and then different positions. So I'm talking about this X-shaped structure over here and the positions at which the crossing over takes place are known as chiasmata. So chiasmata is the singular form. You can also call it chiasma, which is the plural. And the chiasma, they hold the homologous chromes together as a bivalent. And this happens till anaphase 1, where they need to get separated and move towards the opposite poles. Now, as a result of crossing over, the chromatids may consist of a combination of DNA derived from both homologous chromosomes and these new chromosomes are known as recombinants. The ones that have undergone crossing over. So that is all that you need to know about crossing over. So I hope this is uh, helpful enough in giving you more clarity about the process of synapses. Thank you so much for watching this video.